In recent years, Taiwan's government has shifted its energy targets and poured money into industries that offer clean alternatives to fossil fuels. With that, competition has heated up in Taiwan's market for electric scooters. Stephanie Yang spoke to the CEO of Wemo Scooters to learn more about how the company is hoping to evolve into systems such as autonomous driving and 5G. We also learn about their newest features, which include working with four-wheeled vehicles to enable car sharing. During peak commuting hours, huge numbers of scooters travel down the ramp of the bridge. This is Taipei's famous scooter waterfall, one of the main routes into central Taipei for thousands of commuters every day. Taiwan ranks first globally in the density of scooters, approximately 14 million scooters for the population of 23 million, according to the nonprofit Taiwan Environmental Information Center. A 50cc scooter emits almost three times the amount of carbon monoxide a small car does, and nearly seven times the amount of hydro carbons, according to the EPA. In a campaign to cut pollution, Taiwan's government has poured investment into the electric scooter industry and offered incentives for drivers to make the switch. And with that, competition has heated up in Taiwan's market for electric motor scooters. We're the first pioneer in Asia to start an um, electric uh, motorcycle sharing service. Um, we pride ourselves in the tech that we created to um, allow this to all happen. It's not only just a new business model innovation, but it also has a lot of um, system, IoT, um, AI technologies that needs to go into this whole entire system to make this um, work for um, not only current sharing um, solutions, but also in the longer run, um, once this um, urban mobility trend becomes to be more mature, you know, we hope our platform will also be continuously evolved to be able to support systems like autonomous driving, um, uh, also to be able to adapt to the 5G world to come. Launched in 2016, Wemo has drawn attention for its success in the market for shared electric scooters in Taipei being Asia's first scooter-sharing brand. The app has over 300,000 monthly active users in Taipei, along with a growing user base in the southern city of Kaohsiung, where Wemo launched late last year. The mobility startup has kept its focus within Taiwan up to now. Wemo recently kicked off its first round of outside funding with an eye on foreign expansion. It's also collaborating with the government to provide road, traffic, and air quality data through onboard sensors. We currently have about 6,000, 7,000 vehicles. We expect to break over 10,000 for sure. At the same time, um, going back to the technology, um, the main focus for us was to is to continuously use um, technology to create um, better services and better products for the users to use. For example, we will um, we have a parking parking lot solution that will enable users to, um, without any hassle, um, enter and leave parking lots. Um, we hope to have uh, more than 500 parking spaces by the end of, um, by, by the mid of this year. New um, functions and new features like um, working with four-wheel um, um, vehicles, so we're able to enable car sharing as well and such. And we're hoping that these solutions will um, allow us to go abroad to work with um, um, partners abroad to enable sharing services in other places. Another prominent leader in the electric scooter market, Gogoro, has more than 70 million consumer battery swaps to date and nearly 300,000 smart scooters delivered. Gogoro is present in six countries, Taiwan, Germany, France, Spain, Japan and South Korea. Other scooter companies like eMoving, Kimco and Yamaha have also begun selling eco-friendly vehicles. Taiwan's government has been offering subsidies for people who buy electric scooters. This year, the Economics Ministry and the EPA are cutting subsidies for people who buy electric scooters by 6,000 NT. For most of the news, Stephanie Yang, Ling Dongming in Taipei.